What's up, beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out Dave Chappelle destroying cancel culture. So, very excited. So let's check this out because oh, you know I like I like Dave Chappelle. Honestly, he, he's a great storyteller. Great storyteller. Uh, duh. Hey, duh. If you do anything wrong in your life, duh, and I find out about it, I'm going to try to take everything away from you. And I don't care what I find out. Today, tomorrow, 15, 20 years from now, if I find out, you're fucking duh finished. Damn. Who, who's that? That's you. <laughs> That's what the audience sounds like to me. Facts. Big facts. I don't be coming out doing comedy all the time because y'all niggas is the worst motherfuckers I've ever seen <laughs> in my fucking life. There you go. Are you surprised, though, by the, by the criticism that's, that's come your way? No. And I don't mind it that people get upset. Some of this criticism like, is helpful. Like I get educated by it. I don't necessarily agree with all of it, mm -hmm. but I learn about a lot of things. There you go. You know, just from my- I swear to God, <laughs> this might be the noblest of professions. Robin Williams had a bar that I loved. He said comedy is the only job you can have where you can use everything you know. Yes. And that's true. You can use more than you know. You can use what you think. Use it. Don't be afraid. Don't let these bitch ass niggas button your lip. <laughs> Say it anyway. It was 400 years to figure out as a people that white people's weakness the whole time was kneeling during their national anthem. <laughs> That's a brittle spirit. That's right, nigga. On the rock, it's regular. Ah! Ah! Comedy. That things happen to someone else. Oh my God! That's not, that's not necessarily funny. I've never seen that. Funny. I grew up in the crack epidemic. I yeah. tell jokes yeah. about. It. I grew yeah. up in the crack epidemic, and now there's an opioid epidemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they treating the opioid epidemic the way that they treated the crack epidemic? Yeah. No. No, this is a national health emergency. When we were coming up, we were policed by the National Guard. Addicts were criminals. Yes. And now they understand addicts are sick people. And maybe it's because the demographic of the opioid epidemic is not the same demographic of the crack epidemic. That is true. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Getting destroyed is the whole nother ball game. There you go. You have, it's a huge window of empathy. Oh my God, we can see each other. We both went through similar pain. But I'm just saying, everything's funny to him. He was more about, is more about empathy. Yes. There, but yes. You guys yes. gotta remember, I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm saying it because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's funny till it happens to you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of other people's freedom of expression. There I don't you go. use it as a weapon. It just makes me feel better, and I'm sorry if I hurt anybody, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. Everything I'm supposed to. But there's a more important reason that I would stop doing comedy right now. And this reason is the real reason that's been percolating, and, and it really is the crowd, not you. I'm talking <laughs> about the crowd on the big stage. It's too hard mm. to entertain a country whose ears are so brittle. Yeah. So sensitive. The whole country has turned into bitch ass niggas. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. Oh. You say you upset somebody. Yes. You know, I can remember when it all started. It was when I was doing Chappelle's show. When I was doing Chappelle's show, mm. I used to do the show and then on the weekends I do like concerts and shit like that. So I'm doing a concert and there was a couple in the front row, beautiful couple, the wife. Uh. Wife was obviously Asian. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Her face. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, bro, this guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> This motherfucker was mysterious, to say the least. <laughs> Couldn't quite pinpoint where he was from. Caramel colored fella, very nice hair, but he could have been from anywhere. Bangladesh, Mexico, I can't guess with a nigga like this. <laughs> that, all I knew for sure 
about this guy is that his wife was a bitch. Oh! I could see that in her face, too. <laughs> wow, he was laughing and having a good time, and she was scowling at me at a goddamn comedy show. I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized at some point that she was pregnant and I was smoking on stage. I said, oh my God, that's probably why she's mad. So yeah. I started to put my cigarette out, but then she hit me with one of them fake non-smoker calls. Ah. <coughs> uh. I kept smoking. I thought to myself, bitch, that baby will be fine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to break the tension. I just asked her. That's all I said. I go, hey, where are you guys from anyway? And I could tell that she was on to me. She goes, very condescendingly, she says, I'm from California. Oh. If you're asking my ethnicity, I am Chinese. And Damn. He was just cool about the shit. He was like, I'm Mexican, bro. Yeah. I said, well, I'm sorry if I offended you by asking, but you're a very beautiful couple. And Miss there's no there you that you're gonna give birth to the hardest working baby this world has ever seen. <laughs> It's not a bad joke. Yeah, it's not a bad joke. It's she not a bad really joke. Upset. She got up to leave immediately, but she didn't just leave. She had to take one last dig at me on the way out. I will never buy one of your fucking DVDs again. Yeah. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, Chinese people don't buy DVDs. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, that nah, nah. all went crazy. We've all yep. been having a yep. time. I didn't even think anything yep. of it. And then just three days later, this lady sends a fucking letter to my promoter telling him not to book me for shows anymore because I was, quote, racist. Huh? And, and I'm quoting her, insensitive to the nature of my interracial marriage. I was like, <laughs> word, bitch, word, I was. <laughs> <laughs> if she had just done a little bit of research, she would know that I myself am in an interracial marriage. There you go. That's right. In fact, my wife is Asian too. Surprise, bitch. I'll see you on Thanksgiving. <laughs> but my wife's not Chinese. Uh. She's Filipino. That's right, that's right. And our kids are Puerto Rican somehow, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't fuck about interracial marriage. In fact, you know what? My mother is half white. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, all right, you were a little too excited, but... Okay. <laughs> uh. I don't believe me when I say that, but it's true. You can't tell looking at me, but if I grew my hair out... You would think he was at a fucking Cat Williams concert. My shit, is, my shit is beautiful. Oh. But motherfuckers are just taking it too far. I don't know why or how everybody got this goddamn sensitive. You know who hates me the most? The transgender community. That was, that was fire. That was fire. That was good. That was good. That's good. I really genuinely enjoyed that. That was really good. Made me laugh, made me enjoy myself a lot. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. I like this video. If you guys enjoy, it, put suggestion on what I should cover next. Really appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys there. Check out this next video. Peace out.